What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another player review on my channel. Now today guys, as requested heavily by a lot of you guys, we are going to be doing another player review on this channel. A lot of you seem to really enjoy the first player review that I did on this channel. Of course, that was the newly added Haki Mastor. And, well, that's, that video has got a lot of support on it. It's got over 7,000 views and a lot of likes as well. And since that video went down so well, we are going to be doing another player review today. We're going to be doing it of a different sort of player. Not one that you normally see. Not one that's got a lot of hype around him. But he is still a very, very nice player to have in your team. The player that we're going to be looking at today is Dennis Prate. I believe that's how you pronounce his name, of Anderlecht. He is an attacking midfielder. He starts off on career mode as a 75 rated central attacking midfielder at the age of 20. And at the start of career mode, he is showing great potential. And looking at his stats, he's got some very, very nice technical stats to begin with. And also, he's got some very, very well-rounded physical stats as well. Very, very nice stamina. That's an important attribute that you're going to want on your young players. He's got 79 stamina, so he's got plenty of stamina there. He also has very, very good vision. Considering he's only 20 years old, 77 vision is very good. 79 short passing. 79 ball control, 75 dribbling. He looks like a very, very nice agile playmaker to have in your team. He's 5 foot 9. He is an attacking midfielder. Can be played down the middle or out on the wings. 4 star weak foot is very, very nice, but for only 3 star skills, not very good. I usually like to have my central attacking midfielders having 4 star skills or more. But now that we've looked at his stats, we are going to take a little look at him at full potential after 9 seasons of career mode. Whether he's worth it, how well he plays in game, and whether you should purchase him for your career mode. I bet you guys are very, very surprised by this, but Dennis Prate ends up becoming a 91 overall at the age of 28. 91! He is one of the world's best players, and now I'm going to show you his stats. He completely smashed his potential of 82. He managed to get to 91, and that was just through consistent playtime. Looking at where he's grown, and we're going to start off with his physical attributes. Not really too much grown there, but it doesn't really matter. Because an attacking midfielder, they don't really need to be that fast, really. 83 attack positioning, 88 vision. He grew very, very nice mentally, that's for sure. But this is where Dennis Prate gets into his own. And he has got some amazing skill attributes. As you can see there, 98 ball control and 97 dribbling. Incredible passing stats as well for an attacking midfielder. 92 long passing, 95 short passing. As well as that, he's got 89 finishing with 98 shot power and 94 long shots. So you can expect to be getting a few long shots on target with this guy. He gets dribbler, playmaker, distant shooter, clinical finisher and complete midfielder. He certainly is a complete midfielder. When you look at those stats, you realise that he is a very, very nice well-rounded player. But now that we've had a little look at his overall and his stats, we are now going to be looking at how he does play at full potential. Whether he is worth you buying, I mean 91 overall, that is some ridiculous growth. But does he play well in game? That is what we are going to find out now. So we are now going to be moving on to the gameplay highlights for Dennis Pryor. Why he's such a great player and his pros and cons basically. That's what we're going to be talking about. First of all, we're going to mention his pros. What he's very, very good at. To be honest, I found that he was actually a lot quicker than suggested on his actual card. It says that he's only got 80 pace, I think it is. But he seems a lot quicker than that. He makes some brilliant runs like that one there. Unfortunately, unable to finish it off. But the pace that he does have, it seems a lot faster than it actually is. It seems about 85 instead of 80. And he also seems to make some really good runs, actually, from time to time. Not always, but sometimes he will make the odd very, very good run. And that will help you in possibly scoring a goal. Because his finishing, although it is good at times, it is a little bit inconsistent. But we'll move on to that in a minute. One thing that I also noted about this guy is that he's very, very good at taking long shots. So if you have a good long shot technique, then you will be able to score long shots with this guy. He's very, very good at doing that. As long as you have a good long shot technique and you're not terrible at them like I am, then you will be able to score some long shots. But now we are going to be moving on to the negative points about this guy. There are a lot of negative points about this guy as well as, as, well as positive. You know, they balance each other out. The first one really is the most annoying thing about this guy. If he had 4 star skill moves, I would like him a hell of a lot better. But he's only got 3 star skill moves. At times it can be a little bit hard to turn defenders. 
as you'll be forced to rely on the basic skill moves in the game. You know, the ball roll, the drag bat, those kind of skill moves. You'll have to rely on them a lot more. And they aren't really as effective as the 4-star and the 5-star skill moves in this game, in my opinion. As well as that, his finishing is fairly inconsistent, I will be honest. Inside and outside the penalty area, he is very, very inconsistent. In this game in particular, he ended up scoring a hat-trick, I think. But in a few of the other games that I ended up playing with this guy, he didn't even score any goals, I don't think. So it's very, very inconsistent. And that is a big issue with him. Some games he'll be amazing, some games he won't be. And I'd rather have a consistent player rather than one that isn't really that consistent in finishing. His work rates mean that he's not always in the right position. Sometimes he drops back a little bit too much for my liking. And you will probably find that with him if you play him. You could play him at a cam position, even a centre forward. He will still drop back and help out the defence. Sometimes that's good to initiate counter-attacks. But a lot of the time, you want him to be up there feeding balls to your strikers or scoring the goals. He's not really too much of a goal scorer but he's still got 89 finishing so he still should really be able to score a lot of goals that you have and a lot of chances that you have on goal he's also not really that strong enough to hold off of other defenders so if you're running along and a defender comes up to him he's most likely going to get out muscle to the ball but that is pretty much going to be the end of this review for Dennis Pryor. Do I think he is a good player? Yes, I do think he is a good player. I don't think that he is at 91 overall standard. He certainly didn't show that to me. He is a good player nonetheless though. And I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. If he would have had some skill moves or something extra on the top. Maybe a bit better finishing. A more consistent finishing I'd say. Then I may have been inclined to give him a bit of a higher rating. But I still think he's a good player. Certainly someone that you should pick up guys. And if you have enjoyed this player review guys make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already as it really does help out my channel guys and if you do want any more player reviews on some players maybe a player review on Mitrovic let me know down in the comments below what player you want me to review but apart from that guys I'm gonna have to leave it there and I'll see you next time for another video thanks for watching